Hey, Steve Soretsky here. Just want to put together a video. Uh, obviously different scenery, visiting some family here in Palm Springs, but just wanted to put together a video on some obviously huge developments yesterday with Christy Clark uh, enacting the first time buyer's grant, basically. Um, I, I wanted to cover this because there seems to be a lot of uh, misunderstanding in terms of what it actually means what it is you know I'm obviously being a younger guy myself working with a lot of first-time buyers and go on my Facebook and look at uh, all my friends you know sharing it and going oh yeah this is great you know let's go buy a house this is basically free money like you know standing up and congratulating uh, Christy Clark so I really want to break this down so everybody can actually understand it uh, first of all there's no such thing as free money so what what she's basically done is is uh, if you're a high ratio buyer, if you are basically cannot strap together 20% down for your conventional mortgage, you're a high ratio buyer, uh, BC government will basically match you up to $37,500 on a down payment and you don't have to pay any of that back, you don't have to pay interest, you don't have to pay a principal, you don't have to pay any of that back for five years. But you do have to pay it back in five years, so it's not free money. Uh, it's actually, I think it's it's a huge, huge deception, as I as I can tell you right now, because a lot of my friends sharing this, not understanding what it actually means. Um, in five years, you have to pay that back, plus the interest on that. So in five years. She's she's actually putting a lien on your property. It's, she's put it's a second mortgage. So you now have a second mortgage on your property, um, which trust me you do not want. So you have a not only do you have your first mortgage, which is going to come in through because thanks to Christy Clark's down payment. But in order to get her money back, she's going to put a lien on your property for a second mortgage uh, again, which will have to be paid back in five years. That gets paid back at the uh, the bank's prime interest rate in five years. Uh, sorry, at the variable at the variable rate in five years, so whatever that is, and then keep in mind, obviously, the interest rates right now are climbing. Right now, we're at historically low interest rates, so in five years, you can almost guarantee they'll be probably quite a bit higher than what they are right now. Uh, so you pay back the bank's variable uh, mortgage on your in uh, in five years plus 0.5 percent interest on that. So essentially what she's doing is she's taking your money, the taxpayer money that you pay to the government, and she's loaning it back to you. So she's giving back your own money at at an interest. So and you can see the, the kind of deception right there. This is not free money. She's giving you your money back and charging you for it. And she is counter it's totally counter counterproductive, counterintuitive to everything that has happened. So back in August, when she implemented the foreign buyer's tax, she implemented it to cool down the housing market. Uh, she actually went on to call it a housing bubble. Uh, I guess she didn't choose her words carefully. So she enacts this because she says she wants to cool down the market. She effectively does that. We're seeing detached prices down about 15%. Uh, we're seeing condo sales we're seeing the condo and townhouse market at the entry for the first time buyers is now correcting. Uh, condo sales are down 22% year over year. Townhouse sales are down 40% year over year. So the market's in this process of correcting. Prices are slowly starting to move, not a whole lot, but they're moving. Uh, in some areas you can see condos and townhouses are down about 5% from the peak, which was back in June. Um, so as this market's correcting, where prices are starting to come down a little bit, take some time, things don't happen overnight. As the market starts to become a little bit more affordable and cools down, she is now reinflating it by adding in more demand, more stimulus into the market by saying, hey, first time buyers, if you can't afford it, I'll help you get in, here's some more money. That only adds more demand into a market that already has a lot of demand. So effectively, she's basically reigniting the market, making housing more uh, unaffordable. So it's, it's total deception at its finest. Um, like there's just like there's just so much wrong with it. I mean, you have all these economists now coming out and telling you how how terrible of a, a economic policy this is. Um, what you need to understand is there's no such thing as as again as I've said is there's no such thing as free money. And the problem right now is she announces this on the exact same date that the Bank of Canada comes out and says we have a huge issue here. People are grossly over leveraged. We have most private household debt levels. Uh, on record in Canada, so on average, the average family owe, owes a dollar sixty-seven uh, in debt for every dollar they make in income. 
these household debt levels are on par with what the United States was back before their housing crisis in 2006. Uh, so we're the most indebted and that is what happens when interest rates are dirt cheap. Money and lending is easily available. People take it and that's what happens when money is, is cheap. People take it and they can't control themselves. So when you give people free money, they get over leveraged. So what's happening here, she's basically giving you a second mortgage. She's saying here, go ahead, take the money. You shouldn't be in the market. Bank of Canada and CMHC put in a stress test. They're putting in all these lending policies to get first time buyers out of the market, to get all these over leveraged buyers out of the market because they're saying debt levels are record high. There is a direct correlation to household debt and recessions and financial crises. That is why they're implementing stress tests. They know that this market is completely over leveraged as all the data quantifies it as. So they're telling you that we want all these people out of the market and then Christy Clark says has ideas of her own. She says, no, 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 I'm gonna help you get in, don't worry. And it's totally counterproductive because what she's doing is she's just giving you more debt. This is not free money. This is a second mortgage that you pay back at an interest rate that's likely going to be higher and that likely many of these people, if you can't afford 20% down, you know, if a lot of these buyers are scrapping together 5 or 10%, the reality of it is you should, probably shouldn't be in the market. In a market that is really, you know, let's be honest, it, it, it's everyone's coming out and telling you it's overvalued. Uh, you have the BC Real Estate Association telling you prices are going to come down 9% in 2017, which is conservative. Uh, you have the CEO of Royal Page, which tells you the market is overvalued. Bank of Canada is telling you the market's overvalued. So Christy Clark is enticing first-time buyers to jump into the market that has never been so high. While it's in the process of correcting, she adds more stimulus to create more demand. And then you add to that is this is all taxpayer money. So what happens is when a lot of these buyers, and it will happen, a lot of these buyers will end up defaulting in five years because they will not plan ahead for the second mortgage that kicks in in five years when you go to repay that loan at interest rates where who knows what they'll be. Uh, the taxpayer is going to probably be on the hook for all that money. So she's basically taking your money and so when all these buyers, a lot of them are going to default because they should not be in the market. If you can't afford 20% down, I get it, it's hard. Um, like I said, work with a lot of first time buyers. There's not necessarily anything wrong with renting. I can guarantee you prices will not always keep going up and up and up. There will always be affordable housing in certain areas. Um, for a lot of people, it just doesn't make sense to be jumping into the market right now, especially, like I said, if you can't afford 20% down and you're relying on a government handout to get you in. Um, there's a good good likelihood that you probably shouldn't be in there. And like I said, a lot of these buyers um, give free money. A lot of them won't plan ahead. Uh, they won't be ready in five years when that second mortgage kicks in. Uh, that'll be a real punch in the face to a lot of people. And you'll, you will see foreclosures. It will happen. Um, so, you know, you have to think about it. <laughs> What is she doing? She tries to put the 15% tax in to cool the market and then she adds this in as it's correcting and an election's coming up. She goes, uh-oh. You know, she's politically funded by a lot of real estate developers. They come out and they, they support, obviously they support this new home buyers grant. Why? Because they have condos to sell, they have townhouses to sell and then they back her, they support her, they give her money every year for her elections, for her campaigning. Uh, this is really like, why did all the developers coming out and, and supporting it? Uh, there's a direct correlation to that. They have condos to sell. They see a correcting market. She needs to keep this afloat. So I think uh, ultimately this is not helping the first time buyer. This is only adding on more debt. Uh, this is a it's a terrible terrible decision. Uh, you know it goes counterintuitive to what the Bank of Canada and CMHC is trying to do, which is get over leveraged buyers out. She's basically overruling uh, a federal government decision so I don't know how this is all going to play out but she's going she's basically just you know flying by the seat of her pants uh, basically every economist has come out and and slammed this is a terrible decision uh, so I just say to my first-time buyers out there a lot of friends on Facebook um, if, you're, if you're looking at this do some research this is not free money um, you're probably gonna have to pay for this and you're gonna have to pay for it in five years um, like I said if you can't scrap together the, the down payment for 20% you likely shouldn't be buying um, and so that's what it is. It's really, it's really a ploy. It's a deception that 
you know makes her look like she's being proactive like that she's helping the first time buyer it's really helping the developers it's helping people in the industry such as myself you know great sell more homes get more people onto the market but it's not really in the in the in the buyer's best interest so um, you know, even a lot of mortgage brokers will tell you that. They might not tell you to your face, but uh, they certainly tell it to me that this is a terrible decision. Um, you know, a lot of first-time buyers are going to get they're going to get caught. They're going to get punched in the face in five years when when uh, when they can't afford this. So, um, that's that's pretty much all I have for right now. Um, again, you can go check out some of my my posts. I talk about this a lot on my site, vancityconoguide.com. Um, do not be deceived by Christy Clark, and uh, this is a, this is terrible policy. Like I said, the market was already correcting. She's probably reinflated it, uh, where you you'll probably see a stimulus of more demand. You might see prices come up. Hard to say. I don't know how many buyers are actually going to take advantage of this. Um, but why would you intervene into a market that's clearly, clearly correcting, clearly correcting? Why would you add more? St more demand to it why would you add more stimulus it makes zero sense that just makes homes even more unaffordable uh, and again this is not free money this is a second mortgage essentially what the government is doing is she's basically gotten involved in the subprime lending business so now the BC government is is in the subprime lending business using taxpayer money uh, it makes zero sense uh, I think honestly people should be outraged but anyways hope that helps hope that explains it